Hello all. In this video segment, we are going to discuss an 8086 assembly language program to check whether a string is palindrome or not. So these are the steps for checking whether a string is palindrome or not. Uh, so let us see an example. So this is an example uh, string and uh, we have to use two registers. The one is to start our comparison from beginning and the second to start our comparison from the end of the string. So we will compare the uh, contents of the memory locations from the beginning and from the end and uh, we will compare each character by character to see whether the string is palindrome or not. So let us see the program. So in this program we are writing a main function and a procedure called as palindrome which will be called in between the main program. So let us see the first part. This is the data segment. Inside the data segment we have our string to be checked string defined by ABBA dollar. This dollar symbol is used for denoting the end of the string. String 1 defined by string is palindrome. String 2 defined by string is not palindrome end s. So this is the data segment. Next we start the code segment. In the code segment this is the main procedure so the keyword far is used because it will be in another segment so main procedure far initialization of the ds register is done using these statements move ax comma data and move ds comma ax then call palindrome so we have a function palindrome or procedure palindrome which will be called and after uh, the execution of that procedure the control will be returned and uh, this is the termination of the program using these statements. So let us uh, see what is done in the function palindrome. This is the procedure palindrome PROC. So this is how you should begin a procedure. You should write the statements of this procedure and after that you have to close the procedure using end p palindrome end p so in between we have to write the code for that particular procedure or function so let us start executing our program so move si comma offset string so what is string string is db abba so this is our string so inside memory there will be a location which stores this string the first byte will be a second byte will be b third byte will be b and fourth byte will be a so move si comma offset string means the address of the offset address of this string will be in si register that is the first address will be in the si register so si register will be having the address of this first character in the string. Now starting the loop. Move al comma si. So this square bracket si means the content of si. So what is in si a. So move al comma si means al will be having a. So al will be having a. al is equal to a. That is a character a. Now what is the next step? compare al comma dollar so what we are doing in this loop is you are comparing each character and si should move until it reaches dollar because we have to use two pointers one from the beginning and one from the end so that we can check whether the string is palindrome or not so here uh, we are checking whether al is dollar or not so al is compared with dollar the symbol dollar no it is not dollar so what we have to do is jump of equal label 1 
they are not equal so you cannot move to label 1 you have to do this step increment si so increment si is done so si is moving to the next position jump loop 1 so it is again going to this loop move al comma si so what is happening al is equal to al now becomes b again checking compare al comma dollar so al is compared with dollar they are not equal so you cannot go to label 1 increment si so si is again incremented jump loop 1 so again in loop 1 what happens al is equal to content of si so al is equal to content of si compare al comma dollar AL, B, uh, B, this AL's value is B now. So, that is, this is compared with dollar, but it is not dollar. So, you cannot do this operation. You will go to this increment SI. So, increment SI is done. Again, jump loop 1. Move AL, comma SI. So, AL is equal to SI. So, AL is equal to A. Now, again, compare AL, comma dollar. So, in AL register we have A, it is not dollar. So we have to increment SI. SI is incremented. And again jump loop 1. So now next is move AL comma SI. So AL now becomes dollar. Okay. Now compare AL comma dollar. So what happens? They are equal. So jump if equal, what what where should we jump? Label 1. You have to move to label 1. Now this loop is exited and it will go to label 1. So what is label 1? Label 1 move di comma offset string. So the address of the string will come to di. So address of the string means the first address of the string will be in di. So di will be pointing like this. Now we have to start our comparison but we know that si is pointing to dollar so just decrement si by one position so si reaches here because we have to compare these two characters you are not uh, comparing dollar because this is a symbol just to denote the end of the string so simply decrement si so si reaches here now we will start the comparison so this is loop 2 compare si di SI and DI are compared and if uh, SI is uh, less than DI you have to go to output 1 else you have to continue. So uh, in each loop we are incrementing DI and decrementing SI. So we have to stop the comparison somewhere. So that is why we are checking this comparison. We are doing this comparison SI comma DI. Compare SI comma DI. If SI is less than DI that is if SI is less than di after incrementing di and as decrementing si this will be the situation if this is a situation we have to stop the comparison okay so for that comparison we are writing this statement okay so in the beginning it is like this now move al comma si the content of si is brought to al so what is al al is equal to a next is move bl comma content of di bl is equal to content of di is a now what is done compare al comma bl al and bl are compared both are equal okay now if both were not equal what happens jump if not equal output 2 it is moving to output 2 and what will be printed string 2 is not palindrome you are printing as not palindrome. So if if this if these numbers if these values were not equal, the string is not palindrome. So you can simply jump to output two. Okay. Now these are equal in this case. So what should be done? Recrement si and increment di. So di will point to the next position. Si will point to this position. Now what should be checked? Jump to loop two jump to loop 2 and what is checked compare si di si and di are compared and if si is less than di output 1 uh, will do will be done else it will be compared so here si is not less than di 
So you can move to this particular statement. Move AL comma SI. So what is this? AL is equal to content of SI. That is B and BL is equal to content of DI and that is B. And again compare AL comma BL is done. So both are equal. So this statement will not be executed. It will do decrement SI and increment DI. So decrement SI, SI will be here and increment DI, DI will reach here. Now what happens? Jump loop 2. So here it is. Here it reaches. Compare SI, DI. And jump if less than output 1. So SI is less than DI. Now SI is less than DI. So you have to move to output 1. So what is output 1? Load effective address DX, string 1. Load effective address is used for loading the offset value of string 1 to DX. So here in this statement you have seen move di comma offset string the same thing happens here same thing happens here load effective address is the statement lea okay you have to bring the address of string 1 to dx so what is string 1 string 1 is string is palindrome what is string 2 string is not palindrome these are the messages to be printed so here in output 1 you are loading the dx register with string 1 and uh, you are Displaying it on the screen using this move ah comma 09h in 21h. So the message will be displayed. And uh, if somewhere, if some mismatch was found out, you can simply print the other message that is the string is not palindrome using this load effective address lea dx comma string 2. So what is string 2? string is not palindrome that message is loaded and you can simply print using this statement move h comma 09h in 21h so this is the output 2 so this is how we are checking whether a string is palindrome or not